The American Association of Woodturners was founded in 1986. Because woodturning is separate from other kinds of woodworking, the tools are a little different, the technique is different, and certainly the action of turning is very different than doing flat woodworking. A group of artists got together and said, we can share. A big part of AAW history is this sharing. Because of the AAW, the field has moved forward very rapidly with new innovations, new ideas. Instead of feeling threatened by the accomplishments of others, artists are sharing, hobbyists are sharing. And you don't get that in too many organizations where you serve such a broad base. Wood is kind of an international language and our shows tend to be international. Our annual symposia, we bring people in from all over the world. They're people who have been working for a while, but they're not all just big names. They're people who are really starting to develop and emerge, and that's an exciting part of this show. They'll get it pumping, they'll pick up the tool, and they can do it just fine. For grown-ups, they're pumping away, you hand them the tool, and their brains stop. It's like, what is it, patting your head and rubbing your belly. If you keep doing things that challenge your brain and your body that way, your brain benefits in the long run. We want people to try it. It's uh, an incredibly satisfying activity. When you're starting to learn it, you can learn very quickly at the beginning. So you can walk out of your first lesson with something. Often, uh, the artists will start to work with each other. They'll take one piece, someone will do one part, someone will do another. And this is a collaboration between Benoit Eberly, who's another French turner, and Kimberly Winkle, who's an American turner. And they work together by email. <laughs> So this is a very, very, very thin piece of wood turned just so thin. Wood turners tend to have a sense of humor. There's a, a lot of punning, a lot of language play by an artist named Mark Speary, who specializes in what's called multi-axis turning. So when we were talking about things being round and brown, well, if you shift how the piece of wood is held in the lathe, you can start developing a new axis. It's actual bamboo, so it's been filled with epoxy. So the black and the red is epoxy, and then that's turned. People love to see process, and they also love the smell of the wood. When people walk into the gallery, you know, it's sort of there are two possible responses. One is, I had no idea you could do this with wood. And the other one is, it smells so good in here. <laughs> um, I came in as a part-time employee. The gallery was just getting started. We just kept building and expanding, and part of it for me is that passion of saying, these things are beautiful, the world needs to know that they're beautiful. What can we do to present that, to make it so? I've done woodworking since I was a little kid. Never tried the lathe, never had the opportunity. 